Today's show are fighting, and they're letting a cyber conflict council tell them who's right and who's wrong. Damon and Tracy have to put their issues to the cyber test now. Let's find out how the cyber conflict council ruled. <laughs> like a game show. Okay, so let's go to the first issue. Do you agree with Damon that Tracy should have phone sex with him while he's at work? Let's see if the council agrees with Damon. right now yeah I can imagine so I, I have to ask you guys why why let's ask Theodore on the council Theodore why do you say that he should she should I mean I just feel like you know man needs his needs so it's like you know why not work it out you know I mean that's his wife that she, if she feels like it's it's a problem I mean you know that's your man like try to you know fit his needs as well as yours so I agree I'm sorry I, that's Monica right Monica also agreed let's get a woman's point of view what do you think Monica I feel that if you guys aren't doing it at home, at least you guys could do it over the phone because phone sex is really kinky. And you guys should do it as much as you can, if, even if it is over the phone. So, Tracy, so. do you feel ganged up on right now? I would. Uh, yes, a little. <laughs> it, I mean, it's a little uncomfortable. I feel a little better that everyone else doesn't think it's such a bad thing. Maybe I'm oh. crazy. Um, maybe I'll try for him a yeah. little. Yeah, I maybe. think maybe a little something, something. I gotta ask you, Damon, what does your boss think? Well, here's the thing, I have my own office, so, uh, yeah. All right, so, so Tracy, you have agreed you're gonna try. I'll try. All right. <laughs> Check out the next issue. Do you agree with Damon that Tracy should dress up when they go out? Let's see if the style council, I'm sorry, let's see if the council, excuse me, agrees with Damon. Seventy-one oh, percent agree with Damon. So, Paris, why do you? Uh, what, what side are you on? You're on Damon's side. I'm on Damon's side. Yes, yeah. I'm on Damon's tell side. Us, tell us why. Because I'm a mom, also. I have two boys. So, what you won't do for your man, believe someone else will do it. So, it's dress up for man because someone else is dressed up. Stephen, you also agreed. Tell us why you agreed, Stephen. Yeah, I, I think she's got to look at all the time, you know. If he's only getting it three times a month and you're not dressing up going out, there's something wrong. You got to take care of him. Step it up, girl. All right. So Thomas, Thomas thinks that um, Damon is right, right? I think, I think that he's right. And if you want her to wear high heels, then you hold the baby so that she's not tripping all over the place. <laughs> holding the baby. You should dress up a little bit. What do you think, Tracy? You know, that I agree with. I just right now don't have the time with the kids necessarily. I do agree with them, though, that I do need to look nice in public for him. I think there's a balance. I think, it's, I think it is kind of important to kind of keep it hot, and we forget that, especially, like, having kids and stuff. But mm -hmm. you had kids when you were getting it on <laughs> to have them. You know what I'm saying? And so... It, but for some reason, when the kids come, that goes away. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important, even the self-esteem for women. You know, like, when you, when you take care of yourself on the outside, too, it makes you feel a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's go on to our next issue. Do you agree with Tracy that she can share personal information with Damon's mother? No. <laughs> See what the council says. Well, let's see what Steven says. Hey, I don't think, I think you gotta keep your girlfriend, your wife, and your mom separate. You got a relationship with them. Yeah. You can't get involved with his mom because that's his own relationship. Stay out of that. Okay. Let him be close to his mom. Be close to yours. Okay. We have one more issue to tackle, and it is, do you agree with Tracy for allowing the baby to sleep in their bed? No. <laughs> Not y'all in the audience. <laughs> The council. Let's see what the council said. Fifty percent. So Terry, you think it's okay? Yes, I do. I'm a mother of two, and both of my children slept 
in the bed with me. I think it's a bonding experience. They're only little for so long. You, you find time for sex, okay. You'll, you know, you move it to the living room. So we'll Paris, gone. you are a mom as well. Yes. And you agree with Damon. You say that the baby shouldn't be in the bed. I, I don't think the baby should be in bed. I mean, what do you have cribs and bassinets for? You said you have two children. Mm -hmm. So with your second, with your first child, did you also let him sleep in the bed too? No, she went to a bed and she, she went sleeps to in the bed. Right. Yeah, so I mean, what about him? What about you? Don't you want to back rub at night? Don't you want to do right. something? Be Instead of wah, 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 uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> We have somebody in the audience wanting to say something. You stand on up. Stand on up. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly. And so what do you think? Um, I am a mother of three little ones. And I know my first two never slept in the bed with us. The third one, and I don't know if the youngest one is the one that's sleeping with you, but mm -hmm. does sleep in our bed with us. But what happens is as soon as the baby falls asleep, we do take him into the other room so that we can have the time to just wind down together. And Because it is very hard to find time to spend together. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so. so what about that? What do you think about that compromise, Tracy? Thank you. What do you think about that compromise? I've tried. You know, when she falls asleep, I put her in the bassinet, and she wakes up within five to ten minutes. She knows you're going to come get her. She, she wakes up in five to ten minutes because she knows Mama's going to come running. Mm -hmm. Right? So we have something for Tracy that we think is going to help solve the dilemma of the baby sleeping in the bed. We're giving her an arm's reach mini co-sleeper. <laughs> way the baby can be right next to the bed but you and Damon can have the bed all to yourselves do you see that so I think you guys are gonna have to switch positions in the bed Damon you're gonna have to sleep on the wall side now she's gonna have to sleep on that side you guys are holding hands now Aww.